Hello YouTube, this is Queen Violet 8 where it's good to be queen. Coming at you with a small pickups video in my collection of Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. Uh, I got my Game Boy pretty late. I mean, you can find them in the pawn shop where I live. And I paid $20 for this one. I uh, She wanted 30 But uh, I told her, I said, well, I got to buy a charger. Plus the battery had blown up. You know, when those batteries blow up, it gets real fat and... You know, I just bought a replacement battery, put it in, and it worked perfectly fine. Uh, I don't play this much anymore. Uh, I usually play all my Game Boy Colors and Game Boy games on my uh, GameCube Game Boy Player. On the, you know, on my screen, you know, my CRT uh, TV. And uh, that's how I play all of them. But this was a wonderful machine, and I took it everywhere when I used to take it around. But you can play your Game Boy Advance games on your DS Lite now. So, you know. There's really no need for me to drag this out. But this is the uh, pearl pink one. I really like this one. And I think I may have the uh, housing shell changed out to the uh, orange Naruto one. I really like that one. It's different. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do the uh, my Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games. This one I bought in an indoor flea market. This is Dragon Warrior Monsters Tara's Adventure. And uh, it's it's an RPG. It's like Pokemon. You're pretty much collecting, you know, the Dragon Quest monsters. Really cute game. Tiny Toon Adventures. If you like me, you watched this back in the 90s. This is Bad's Big Break. This is a platformer. This one I also picked up in that indoor flea market where I found a lot of this game. This is Snoopy's Magic Show. And pretty much you're going around getting these little balls and you've got to get all of them before the time runs out. It's a cute game. Where's... I'm missing it. Now I can't find it. I just had Pokemon Red and I don't see it. Oh, well. Well, I do have Pokemon Red, the original. I don't know what I did with it. I just had it. But anyway, this is Catwoman. This is actually based on the comic of the 90s, which I read a lot of and still have my collection today. This was actually by Kimiko. Isn't that something? It's a really good game, actually. It's a Game Boy Color game. Uh, pretty much Talia Ghoul wants this uh, statue that Catwoman is trying to get before her. But it, it's a really good game. Dragon Quest Three. I got lucky and get the, got this early before it, you know, it went up. I try to keep these in cases. Now, these I heard about from Radical Reg. I, I swear, they are so sly in how they get you to buy stuff. You, it's, it's like, you know, pick it up, pick it up. You know, I'm not trying to make you buy anything, but, you know, you keep listening to him talk about how good the game is. Like, I need to get that. This is Sabrina Zapped. Really cute game. It's based on the cartoon that came out back in the 2000s. Real cute game. Real catchy theme song. And of course, I picked up Sabrina Spooked as well. Radical Reggie really knows his stuff. I mean, these look like, I think these are Way Forward. I think Way Forward has something to do with them. Really, really good games. This is Buster Saves the Day. This is also Tiny Toon Adventures. Now, this is a game that my ne my uh, cousin actually had growing up. He was the one that got, he was like happy console gamers, Andrew. He got everything. This is one of the games that he was always playing on his Game Boy. And this is Bart Simpson's Escape from Camp Deadly. And it was so funny whenever you, you know, get hit, he says, eat my shorts. Uh, so, you know, that was really neat back in the day. Oh, it talks, you know, that, that was something. But, uh, yeah, real good platformer. You, you throwing like boomerangs. You're trying to escape from <laughs> Camp Krusty, which actually is not a good place to be. And I'm going to get into my Game Boy Advance games. This is Street Fighter Alpha 3. Real good fighting game, actually. Really enjoying that. Final Fantasy Dawn of Souls. I'm just sliding out. I try to keep these in cases. Keep them good. One and two. These are the first two Final Fantasy games. These are much faster to play through than the originals on the uh, Nintendo. It doesn't take nearly as long. You get more XP more quickly. Now, this game was my first Zelda game. And this is Zelda Minish Cap. Really cute game. I really like it. I think my battery's gone out. I need to replace it. <laughs> But I really like this game. I love that hat. I'd like to see that come to be a Switch. Now, this is a very rare game. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, folks were missing out. Y'all should have been running the Freds back in the day. This is Tiny Toon Adventures Buster's Scary Dreams. They also call it Bad Dreams. 
Um, I do not have my box for this anymore, but I do have my manual. And I picked this up at Fred's, $10 back in the day. Now I think it's a $100 game. Now this was my first Pokemon game. Well, after Red, this was, well, the first Game Boy Advance game when they had color. I was like, oh yeah, I gotta get that. This is Pokemon Emerald version. I uh, really enjoy that. Have a strategy guide. You know me. I gotta have a strategy guide. Now, these are the Advanced War games. I'm looking forward to the ones we're supposed to be getting next year. Um, I can't wait to get those. That's gonna be awesome. Advanced Wars 2 and Advanced Wars 3. I didn't get Fire Emerald, but I did have these. <laughs> then we've got another Tiny Toons, Tiny Toon Wacky Stackers. This is pretty much uh, just a match game. Real cute game. Now, this is one I remember seeing in Circuit City, if anybody remembers that place. This is Lady Sia. This was one of the first, you know, come out with the Game Boy Advance uh, when it came out. This was one of the first games. Thanks, Ben. I don't know why people write their names on this stuff. I got another one. Somebody's name is Corey. But I got this, and it's kind of hard to find this one now. It's a platformer. It's kind of, it's an action platformer. It's really well done, actually. I was surprised at how good it was. I'll pick that up. This is Ready to Rumble. This came in a set that I got uh, when I bought, uh, what what is it? Oh, here it is. Wade Hickston's Counterpunch. I heard Radical Reggie talk about this. I tell you, these YouTubers are sly. Wait, I'm a YouTuber. I'm not that, you know, big or anything. But when they talk about a game being good and they start showing footage, you're like, I got to buy that. And next thing you know, you maxed out your credit card trying to buy all this stuff. But this is Wade Hickston's Counterpunch. And Ready to Rumble came with uh, counter punch. I really like uh, uh, counter punch. It, it's really good, actually. It's kind of uh, in the Punch Out uh, series. This game, I love the cartoon when it was on Cartoon Network. And this is Code Names Kid Next Door Operation Soda. The adults have taken all the sodas, and it's your job <laughs> as the kids next door to get those sodas back into the hands of kids. There were only two kids next door games, and that was one of them. One was for the, I think, Game Boy and PlayStation. Kim Possible, the first one. There were, I think, three or four games in this series. Now, I picked this one up thinking it would be like the first one. And this is Metabots. This is Rokushu, Rokusho AX. Uh, I picked this up at a, a bookstore, actually. And they had it, and it was, like, cheap. And I was like, I'll just get that. Thinking it was going to be like the first Metabots, which I really want to play, which is actually an RPG. Uh, but... I picked this one up. It's much different. It's more like a, an action fighting game, pretty much. Action RPG. This is, if you were a big fan, you had to have this. This is Hey Arnold, the movie, the game. It's by THQ. Real cute. There are, you know, cheats where you can play as Grandpa and Helga on here as well. Uh, just an action platformer based on the movie. Real cute movie. Picked this up at Fred's as well. And this is Yu-Gi-Oh!, destiny board traveler it, it's kind of like i want to say uh what was that game on the 3ds i can't think of it now but pretty much you're on this board and you're throwing a dice and you're going through fighting with your monsters like blue eyes white dragon dark magician and things like that real cute game got this at fred's too totally spies action rpg really good game actually i was surprised when i started playing spy atari there are i think three uh, totally Spies game for, I, I know one's on the DS, but really good game, real cute uh, game if you were a fan of the show, which I did watch it. These are my Ed and Eddie games. <laughs> and like I said, I love Ed and Eddie. This is Jawbreakers. This is the first one we ever got. Real good game. Uh, really enjoyed it. I mean, Cartoon Network used to make some good games. I still got to get Dexter's Laboratory and a few Powerpuff Girl games uh, to make up for it. Then I picked up The Misadventures. Now, I've beaten The Misadventures, but I have not beaten Jawbreakers. I'm stuck on this stage where where you're in a tree and Rolf is in that tree throwing something at you. And I cannot get past that tree stage. And I'm stuck there. But it this was much more, you know, challenging than uh, The Misadventures. These are some games I missed when I was talking about my PlayStation collection. Tekken 3. This was a gift. And I played this game like crazy. When I first saw it in the arcade and it was on the real big screen. And they showed like Lin Shao Yu fighting backwards and everything. I thought that was so interesting back in the day. I mean the graphics changed. 
and everything, but it really good fighting game. And I also have this game, and I totally forgot about it, and I just found it. Persona Q Eternal, excuse me, Persona 2 Eternal Punishment RPG Atlas. Uh, this is only on the PSP now, but this was the original one. I think I went in GameStop and they had it. And I'm going to tell you something, and don't make this mistake. When I was young, if I didn't have a system, I didn't buy for it. But up on the shelf, when I got this game, was Rule of Rose. And I didn't even ask the dude how much it was, but I picked this one up. So I'm wishing I went back and got Rule of Rose. By that time, you know, it wasn't even, you know, expensive. But, you know, it's, it's really going up. I hope they'll re-release that game. That would be nice. But that's my my uh, small collection of Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. And I'm missing Pokemon Red. That was like the first Pokemon game I ever played, the original. And I won't get into my haul. And one thing I'm going to talk about, which is pretty funny, is this. This is called the Cubabon Max Screen Magnifier. And it's for your Switch or your phone. And it does help, you know, I, I'm nearsighted now. You know, not as, not bad, bad, but I, I need something to help me out. And this helps get in there and see, you know, what's going on better in the details. And it's not too cumbersome. I put it on my Switch. And it also works for the Switch Lite. But, I mean, it's kind of funny. If you remember how the Game Boy used to be when you had that magnifier on here, you'd have to slide that thing across your Game Boy Advance. I'm sure somebody has a video of it. But you'd slide it across the, the front of your Game Boy right here, and it would just sit right here and magnify for you. And if you were bad, you had that little worm light <laughs> for playing in the dark, if that's what you were doing or, you know, everything. But it, it's, it's, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's chunky, real chunky, you know, goes under there and everything. But, you know, it helps, you know, to see detail. Then I picked up this. This is Goody Tama, and I'm putting that on my Switch uh, in a few minutes. This is just a nice cover. It's actually kind of rubberish and it's got a real good texture non-slip texture but i love goody tama he's adorable he's called the lazy egg he's a sign rail character you know in the veins of hello kitty and other characters like that and my melody but this is goody tama if you have never watched his uh, <laughs> cute little you know uh, anime you should it, it's it's really adorable he even has a youtube channel which is pretty funny but i'm gonna put this on my switch really happy to get it um you know pick that up if you're a goody tama fan I, I will not be taking my Switch apart. I mean, I pay people to do that. I, I don't mess with my Switch. I don't take anything apart. I, I pay somebody to change my housing and everything. Now, this game I'm really excited for. This is Super Warbot Wars T. And this is a strategy RPG. And I uh, got this from PlayAsia. Just got this stuff today. <laughs> I've been waiting on it since February. And uh, some things were like back ordered. And I've been waiting on them for a minute. But uh, it's got a lot of characters from Getter Robo. Uh... Captain Harlock is in this. That's the reason I picked this up is just for him. Big Harlock fan. I mean, the first time I, I saw my youth in Arcadia, I bought a VHS tape, not knowing what it was. And I was like, wow. When he talks about uh, who will go into this the sea of stars with me, and they were like, this, these people like, it's better to go up there than stay on Earth. You know, we'll make the sea of stars our home. We'll die there, blah, blah. And I was like, man, he's manly. And uh, I, I loved that um, anime back in the day. I mean, it was the first time I ever saw it was My Youth in Arcadia, which I bought that VHS when they were going out of business. And um, the same voice actor for him for the English Captain Harlock is actually the voice actor for Vampire Hunter D, which was, like I said, one of my first animes that I ever saw, which surprised me. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be real fun. I mean, you got uh, a lot of Gundam characters. Magic Knight Ray Earth is in here as well. Oh my goodness, they're actually telling you who's in here. <laughs> Ain't that some? Mobile Suit Gundam, ZZ, Mobile Suit Gundam, Mobile Suit Gundam, Crossbone Gundam, uh, Magical Night Ray Earth. My goodness, Arcadia, My Youth, Endless Odyssey, Gun Sword. A lot of stuff on here. Uh, pick these up. These are these are really good. Uh, you can get them at Play Asia, which is where I got my copy. I picked up Wargroove. Pay attention uh, to this in the corner. I don't keep making the same mistake I do sometimes of picking up the European version and not getting the U.S. or American release. Because if you were to sell this later on in life, it would not get much money because it's the European version. I try to always get those U.S. versions, but I, I may buy this for the Switch. Really good tactical RPG, actually. Everybody was waiting on Advance Wars like, you know, me. And this is what we got instead. It, it's pretty good. It's actually really funny. 
uh really really good i hope they'll do you know other um games you know this is chucklefish they did a really good good you know good job with this I'm, I'm really pleased with it it's got the uh digital soundtrack stickers and a strategy manual now this game if you're a playstation 2 fan you might want to be considering getting this one this is breath of fire dragon quarter and this was the last breath of fire game and i don't know if we'll ever get any more but it's starting to inch up people didn't like this game it's considered the black sheep but i went ahead and picked it up i got this and i got the guide as well for 30 dollars. I, I i start looking for this because it, it, it's going up i was surprised when i saw it for 30 and then you know just loose uh, i think a disc was like 20 bucks but if you wanted a good set with manual, does this even have a manual? I don't think it does. It doesn't. It was like almost $40, $50. But, you know, got that one. Then, excuse me, that's my He-Man action figure of Evil One. I got, uh, man, 2000s He-Man was good. I, I give him credit for that. I didn't like Thundercats, but He-Man was good. I'm playing this right now. This is Final Fantasy X2. I tried to play Sweet Code in 4. I got, after the first, you know, boss, you know, the ship controls were so sluggish and clunky. And I just, it's an easy game, but it's so slow. And I couldn't play it. But as soon as I pop this in and you see that opening scene and they're dancing and, you know, their idols and all this stuff. And they have the dress spear, and, you know, real interesting uh, stuff. I was like, yep, I can play this. So I started playing this because, you know, as I've told you about the... Um, switch version i got the code didn't work for this game and i was like well forget it just let me get that because pretty much all you're doing for the switch and the ps4 you're just buying an enhanced version an hd version but it's practically almost the same game so i just bought this i've been enjoying this game really good game and i picked up as i say some strategy guides <laughs> i got this one this is shining force ex i've still got to get the uh, game uh, this is the last, I think this was the last one, or it was Neo, for the Shining Force. There were Shining Tears, Shining Force Neo, and this one, Shining Force EXO. And I intend to get it, get that game. It'll be the last one I'll need. Those are pretty good games, actually. Like I just said, I picked this one up. Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter. Had to get this one. Already had this. Grandia 3. Those Grandia games are going up, especially Grandia Extreme. That's become kind of, you know, rare. It's getting rare. Uh, pick that up if you like Grandia. I love too. I mean, I, I remember playing it in, on the Dreamcast and that jump scare got me. I didn't even know it was coming. Now, I grabbed this one. I hear talk of a remake or a remaster or whatever of Final Fantasy IX. I look forward to it. I went ahead and grabbed this real quick. It, it was cheap. Uh, like I said, watch out for those strategy guides because they inch up, you know, in price when you can't find them. I mean... You're not going to find Chrono Cross under $100 just about now. Now, of course, I got, I paid $10 for uh, Final Fantasy X2, the game and this guide. I mean, you can still find deals on eBay. You just got to know where to look. Oh, and I, I left off my Play Asia order. I had two more games, three more games, I'm sorry. Forgot. Sorry about that. Move the box. I love these stickers they send you. They're so cute. Love those stickers. Gonna put them on something, I'm sure. This Play Asia. I picked up, everyone's been talking about this. It's a Metroidvania type of game. This is d -Lit Wonder Labyrinth. This is Record of Lotus War. I remember seeing the anime on, if anyone remembers, the Stars, not Stars, Encore Action Network. They used to play that on there. And I saw it before and I was like, huh, oh, that's pretty interesting. But this is a Metrovania. I'm looking forward to this, uh, playing this later. I made sure I didn't make the mistake that I did. Pay attention to these because I made the mistake with Eastward. Please pay attention to your rating systems right here. It tells you if it's European, U.S. You're going to want that U.S. Like I said, if you decide to sell your collection, you ain't got the U.S. It ain't going to sell for much. I picked up Eastward. Made the mistake of getting that. This is the Japanese version. This was when it first came out. When it first came out, we didn't know we were getting a U.S. version of this. But I picked up this one because it was only a Play Asia for a while. But now the U.S. version is out. I didn't know. But, you know, real cute game. I, I'm really looking forward to this. Very adorable. Then I picked this one up. I know someone's going to laugh. This is Love Esquire. This is the collector's edition. 
and I've been waiting on this one. This is East Asia Shop, Asia Soft, Asia, ah, East Asia Soft, and this is the limited edition. It comes with a soundtrack, art book, uh, number certificate, and a printed manual. Uh, but it doesn't come with the art book. It comes with the printed manual. My bad. But you get that two disc CD soundtrack. I mean, I'm probably gonna be listening to that soundtrack in a few minutes. But pretty much, you're dating these women or trying to you're a squire and you're about to go you know to be a knight and you may die and you're trying to get with these girls it, it's it's weird it's weird but it's funny and uh really 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 cute game looking forward to playing it um east asia shop is doing some really really good stuff i mean their limited editions if you get them early uh are really good there's one game and if you're a fan of the series like i am if you like overlord and i heard a guy talking about it, i didn't know I think it was Switch Force or Switch Up. I listened to them because they, they tell you some stuff. And I was like, wait a minute. Overlord's got a video game coming out? I got my pre-order. It comes out next year, excuse me, next next month on the 10th. So if you haven't gotten that limited edition, which comes with soundtrack and like a standee, it's Clementine, which is one of my favorite, you know, <laughs> pitiful excuses of a villain. I mean, going up against Eyes Are Gone. And getting her tail, well, he was called Momon at the time. She she died a very pitiful death. But, you know, at first you were like, oh, she's, you know, she was an interesting villain. You know, crazy, but interesting. But her death was very satisfying after what she did to, you know, the adventurers that, you know, Ainz was with. He, you know, like he said, he didn't care for them. They were integral to his plan, but he was still going to avenge them, which I thought was really good of him to do. But pick that up. It's a Metroidvania game. And pretty much it's called... Uh, Overlord Escape from Nazareth, and you play as Clementine, and you're trying to get out of Nazareth before they kill you. And you've lost your memories, you don't remember stuff, you don't know how you got there. But I guess people like Clementine enough that they allowed her to, you know, have a game. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting that when that comes out. But uh, pick up these games. I mean, you know, that Play Age has got good stuff. You know, it took them, let's see, they shipped it out to me on the 5th. I just got it today. It takes a little while to get your stuff, especially if it's pre ordered, like Love Esquire and stuff. But, you know, grab those if, if you find them to be interesting and you like them. Um, that's my video today. I, I plan on doing more later. I've still got to get cases for my PlayStation 3 collection. But, you know, stay safe out there. Later days.